Chunky Bunch, what's up? Ah, there's people driving. It's loud out here. Chunky Bunch, what's up? Today, we are going to Milwaukee, Oregon, just down the street from Portland, to a place called Rokes. Yeah, to a place called Rokes. Hot dogs and hamburgers. This place has been around since 1939. I've never been there before, but a lot of people, especially the homegirl Megan, said, hey, you gotta do this place. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I drive by it twice a day, every single day, and today we're doing it. So this place we're going to, Rokes, has been in the same area since 1938 or 1939. That's a long time, dude. It's on a street called McLaughlin. It's actually 99 Highway slash McLaughlin. Only in Portland people will know how weird our streets are. But back in the day, it used to be called Super Highway 99. And this was the only eatery on the block. So let's go give it a swing, eh? All right, so it's a little loud over here. I just ordered their bacon burger, the Coney dog, and their Coney fries. This place is supposed to be really dope. It's always really busy. Every time I come through, there's a wait and everything. So, she'll be ready in a few minutes. We'll jump back to the spot, and then we'll get to trying it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Thick and Chunky Show. I'm your host, Mr. Queer Styles, like always, and today, you saw earlier, I went to Rokes. I'm back at the man cave. Secret, it's really just a corner of my living room my wife lets me have. That's where my computer and stuff goes. This is where the magic happens. Anyway, so I got from Rokes. I got one bacon burger, one Coney dog with onions, just the regular way it comes, and their Coney fries. So, I'm gonna start off with the hot dog. I cut it in half because I don't need to be eating a full of any of this stuff. Put the other half in the fridge for later. It comes with a little tassel on the end, letting you know it's a real hot dog. It smells good. It's like this long. I think it was just less than $5. This is the Coney dog from Rokes. That's really good. Mm. In my opinion, the difference between a good hot dog and just a regular hot dog is the snap when you get into it. This has that snap. The chili's nice and ground. It's smooth. The onions give it a kick. That's really good, man. That's really, and it's huge, bro. That's what she said. It's, it's a big dog. All right, so this right here is the bacon burger. I asked for it just the way that it comes. I asked for no substitutions. Looks like it has lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, bacon, cheese, and burger. Alright, this is the bacon cheeseburger from Rokes. So I've had a lot of good fast food burgers, but even the best fast food burger still feels like it's missing something. When you've had one cooked at a diner, it has that diner flavor. I think it might be the way they cook it, the way that it's kind of cooked in its own grease a little bit. It's bomb. They use really good bread. The bacon's nice and crunchy. Doesn't overpower, but it adds to it. I like the tomato. Hope I don't have on my face, can't really see. I like the tomato on it. For me, I'm a really big fan. It was only like $5 or something. It's better than any six dollar burger you would get at one of them fast food restaurants mm, that's really good all right now these are their coney fries now as a disclaimer it took me about 25 30 minutes to get home so these have been sitting in the car for 25 or 30 minutes french fries like everybody knows are best eaten directly after you get them but that wasn't an option today so this is the fries with Coney sauce and onions, AKA the Coney fries from Rokes. Dude, even after, ooh, it has a little spice kick. I noticed that on the hot dog, it had a teeny bit of spice on the back end. I thought it was just me playing tricks myself, but nah, it's in that Coney sauce, that, that chili type Coney sauce. It's got that spice to it. Even after sitting in the car for like 
a half hour, I'm gonna eat this entire tray. This is delicious, man. These are really good. The fries are made fresh daily. I don't always prefer fresh fries. Like, um, Five Guys does fresh fries, and I don't like Five Guys fries at all. No, don't thumbs down me. I enjoy them while I eat them, but it makes me feel terrible afterwards, and it's just too much salt. Their Cajun fries, flavor-wise, are bomb, but I digress. We're talking about Roke's. Roke's hot dog, amazing. Roke's burger, amazing. Roke's coney fries, also amazing. All together, this was an A plus visit. I don't like to give out A pluses. I'm really not a big fan of it, but as you've seen, the restaurant has this nostalgia about it, bro. Like something to be said about a restaurant that's been in the same spot for 80 years. So if you find yourself in Milwaukee, Oregon on 99, stop by Rokes, get you a dog, get you a bacon burger, get some of these fries. You're not going to be disappointed. Thank you to the staff at Rokes. You guys were really cool. Let me get some shots inside and out. Very nice. I had a great experience. Once again, thank you for tuning into the Thick and Chunky Show. Please make sure you hit this video with a thumbs up. Please make sure that if you're not already that you subscribe if you're interested in the content. I don't want like a petty subscribe, but if you're interested in what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for tuning in. Please be good people. Everybody, I appreciate you. Peace.